been solved. We are good to go. And we are back live here. So we will restart game number one. They're going to let it be 1-0. Since they already scored, the soloist, they have a soul in them after all. I mean, it's in the name. So they will give them their goal back. And we'll start this game 1-0. This time on a little better ping. Yeah, it was almost as quick as the first time they scored uh, before they restart. <laughs> Sad, yeah. but true. <laughs> so LJ will look for his, his second, and he'll score that goal just as quick as he scored the first. LJ, a phenomenal ground-to-air dribble. Seems like the, the delayed was... flip to end, and uh, the soloist may have finally met their match, Crane. I think so i think just that goal was unfortunate for them as they were looking to pick up some boost just getting caught off guard as uh, lj got a pretty much a free aerial goal there but uh we'll see the solos come back uh and make it two or tied here as they do have still four minutes and 30 seconds left for but it does look like that toxic will good. find another answering back will be the soloist maybe not maybe they can play at this level too we have seen them up the ante every game so far adjusting well to their competition and i you gotta say they're doing this yeah they're doing so here as well it's like they uh, are very good at adapting to other teams playstyles here as they are going to look to tie this up again it was very a very exciting game so far absolutely Drias will play it from the corner, pinching it down, just trying to keep control for LJ, but he won't. He's actually just looking at a 1v2 scenario right now, and Gakko will send it over. LJ, a beautiful save, using that Dominus to just get to the edge and barely able to get the ball between the car and the post. And that's a beautiful save there. Gakko, a nice shot, but in the end, he just can't find it. Andreas will play it down now. Looking for the shot. Just cannot get to the ball in time, and it will be played away to the corner. Well, Gakko will pick it up off the wall here. Looking for the pass. The Toxic Eye is going to delay, and nothing much going to come of that other than a reset for the Soloist defensive-wise. They want to be back and ready to go for whatever play LJ is trying to make, and he's going to pinch it, but it's not going to do much good. Here's Gakko looking for the redirect, and it's just barely wide. But Toxic Guy is there to clean it up, and we've talked about it all day. The Solvus have been great about rotating and covering each other's backs, and this is the perfect example there. Really good play from them. Really good uh, push from Toxic Guy to make that an aggressive play just to get the rebound. Uh, it's got them just slightly missed, but they did get the goal in the end, and it is now tied uh, with about three minutes left to go in game one here. If the soloists have adapted quickly and they've got the game tied up, they look just as good, if not better than before. And they are playing a much higher level team here. Andreas will flick it over. An easy go-ahead goal straight over the defense. A beautiful catch there. Picks the ball back up with almost no time lost. And will flick it straight over for the defense even as the time to react and get set up on the other side of the pitch. That was a very good response, very quick response from this side of Team Detmer as they uh, are looking to try to, you know, keep the lead here uh, as going into the third minute here. The team Fenner are looking good, but the soloists are looking good as well. Speaking of looking good, Toxic Eye, the pass to Gakko in the middle of the pitch, and he's able to line drive it. That is a, an incredibly fast shot. A very close one, almost making the save, but he wasn't able to find it. And the team Fedner are going to see their score tied up here. Dre is very close to that save, but he just couldn't make it in the end, and LJ will play it away now. Where Gakko is there to contest, he plays it to the corner, picked up by Dreas. And it will be sent away now as they start their own possession. Dre is flicking it over to his teammate LJ, who's there, but Gakko was there with the save. And Toxic Guy gonna play it away now. Falling close behind LJ, and Dreas will play it away now. Toxic Guy with no boost, he's gonna have to back it away, and Gakko will pick it up on the other side of the pitch where LJ is there to make the play, sending it to the middle of the pitch. Toxic Guy is there to receive it, and he will play it past Dreas towards the net, but Dreas is there. Very confidently controlling the ball there. And Gakko will play it the other way. 
but not if LJ has anything to say about it. The soul was doing a great job of keeping control right now, not letting that ball get past the middle of the field, but it will now, and Gakko will look to stop it in its tracks, but he can't quite do so, and Toxic Guy now trying to clear it away, and Dreyas will keep control, and we are seeing a push and pull here as both sides are doing a great job of keeping possession for long periods of time and taking multiple shots while they have it. Toxic Guy, a rough touch there, but luckily LJ isn't there in time to do anything with it and will be played away now where Gakko's got some nice possession, but he's not going to find anything. Andrea is looking for a ceiling shot. Going to send it off the post and Toxic Guy with the flip, barely able to find a save there and sent away where Gakko's going to pick it up, looking to send it towards the net, but LJ is there making the save and here comes Dreyas looking for the pass to LJ. He doesn't have a flip left, so he can't do anything with it and it will be sent away to the back corner. Off the ceiling now where LJ is there on the back wall ready to play it and will play it away now where Gakko's got it. Sent over. Toxic Guy going to pick it up off the backboard. Here comes Gakko. He's got space and Dreyas trying his hardest but he can't make a save and 4-3 as the soloist will take a lead for the first time in this series really good play from the soloist there to get it into the net they're really good team play passing it to each other there to get that opportunity to just finish it in the net there and they do take the lead with a minute left uh, for game one here lj the line drive a toxic guy is there Team Fender looking good. They've got to up the team play just a little bit, and they will do just that. But it will be saved. The shot from LJ, no good. Goko, uh, Gakko, sorry, going to contest it. Toxic Guy trying to make a play now. Jumps a little early, but it is indeed going to cost him. He jumps a little too early, isn't in the best position. Takes him a little longer to get to the ball because he's trying to adjust. Andreas absolutely capitalizing. He sees it. He double jump aerials. He's there quicker. And he is able to send it directly over the car of Toxic Guy as they will tie it up 4-4 here. And what is absolutely the closest series we've been able to spectate so far today? Yeah, definitely very high scoring uh, game so far. Four goals apiece for each team. And it just seems that every time another team scores, the other team just uh, gets a quick uh, response. We'll see uh, how this plays out as time is dwindling here. Well, we see a uh, last second goal here to take it, but... We will! Dreyas is trying to play the back wall. He's He knows they love to play there, and he's setting up for it. But he is just going to be too high. Gakko sees him and will send it low, as low as he can. And there's just no way Dreyas can get to that ball. And he will get the go-ahead goal just barely and oh Dreyas answers back with the bar down are you kidding me Dreyas what the pass player. from LJ the redirect from Dreyas sends it over both but high enough to avoid the save from Gakko and it will be 5-5 five, five with five seconds to go as we will almost certainly go to overtime in this one Sent up by LJ. He wants to finish it right here. But Toxic Guy is there to make a save. And it will come to the ground now as we head into our first overtime of the day. The Soloist and Team Fetner are giving each other a run for their money. As LJ will play it down the pitch now where Toxic Guy is ready and waiting in the corner. Looking to start the breakout for the Soloist. Pedreas has something to say about that. And he will send it off the wall now. Looking to get a pass to his teammate. He's just going to control it here. Trying to keep control for as long as he can to get his teammates situated. And LJ going to try to make some work happen on the other side of the pitch. And he'll do just that. This is looking good. He looked for the flip reset. He couldn't find him. But Dreyas is there. Set up behind him. Ready to go. Looking to make a play of his own. Trying to send it towards the net. And he'll do just that. It's over. But Toxic Guy is there to make a play. And he will send it down the pitch now. Where Gakko and LJ are going to 50-50 for it. LJ going to win that one. Toxic Guy's got possession now. Looking to take it away. He'll get it over Dreyas. But he is going to quickly compensating he's got it send up the air dribble he's got tons of room here Dreyas looking to put it away but he will get bumped away now LJ bringing it to the middle of the pitch where Toxic Guy's there to make a play and Team Fetner are putting on the aggression they're putting on the pressure here they want this game and Gakko's got control here trying to make something happen are, are the soloists as they get forced out of the zone Toxic Guy gonna wait back get control here and help his teammate out on defense. You know, his team Fetner's push is coming, and they are coming on hard. Toxic Guy trying to play it away, sending it up towards the ceiling. 
looking for another good back wall clear. And he is going to be able to send it back to midfield. With Reyes will control it back to LJ. And he sends it over everyone. That could be a goal right there. But it's not going to be. It's too high. And Toxic Guy will play it away now. Where Gakko will pick it up. He's got room. Playing it over on the backboard. Toxic Guy not able to play it. And here comes LJ. LJ's got some room to work with. No. Toxic Guy is going to whiff on. And LJ will capitalize. Looked like he was going too wide. Going to the post. But he is able to find the shot. Toxic Guy whiffs. On the defensive play, and LJ is able to make a nice recovery towards the post to send it in, making it 6-5 and taking round one for Team Fetner.